Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to talk about use state hook, which we have already set up very basic and also talked about this in the previous video. Now let's build something uh, like we create an increment counter. Counter will be set to initially zero. Before starting to that, uh, we can have a quick look at the code which we have done in the last video, which was just about setting these different use state like counter flag value and we were updating something like this so it is work, working perfectly fine so keep typing okay when you keep clicking on to this this counter is increasing right so this is what we had in the previous video update count handle change we were calling on the h1 we had a handle update count which is updating the counter value okay and we talked about these multiple states so what we will do is let's try to enhance this particular code itself and we'll see what else we can add. Okay. This is the basic code we have written. Now, the we'll just make it a simple counter. Count, increase count. Okay, let's have only single state counter and try to simplify this so that we just need to deal with only one single state. Here we can have a different methods which will just uh, update click on which will just update the count button on click okay and this is my another button which is delete count or you can say whatever delete count or decrease count so here I can have one method increase count here another method is decrease count plus plus and this will be minus minus okay now I have this method increase count and decrease count I have to define I can use this increase count so increase count will actually doing is it is updating the count with count plus one okay so there are many ways to write this set count method set count is nothing but a function if I just copy this and try to show explain you the code in the in here so what this set count is set count has different responsibilities if you see this huge state huge state can, uh, also can have a callback function okay there can be a function in the huge state which will return the initial state something like this I can have some kind of a function and which will return with zero some kind of a calculation and then I will return zero so this is the actual definition of a uh, huge state it can have a initial value you can see this TypeScript definition it can have an initial value or a function which is returning a value okay initial state can be a number boolean whatever it is okay or you can have something like this now set count so I'm calling increase count set count equal to count plus one so you can also directly set count to zero what it will it will do is it will update the count with it will reset the state with zero or there are many ways so if you wanted to access the previous state that also is here what we are doing is uh, in the count previous count plus one right so in set count we are currently accessing having only one particular state which is count it's not an object so we already know what it is pointing at so what we can do is previous count or previous state plus one previous state is zero but what if this is an object in that case you will be accessing that property and updating and something like that here this is a callback function we have in the set count right set count function will take a previous state as an argument and you can update on top of previous state instead of uh, just doing a count count plus one okay similarly we have a decrease count decrease count will do nothing but it will just do minus one and we can have a reset also what it will do is reset count will actually we will just write arrow function for this I mean this is my habit to write anonymous function for every event I am writing you can have any methods like 
if you wanted to no don't if you don't want it to do it like this then you can have everything defined here also what you can do is for increase count what you can do is count set count we already have this method and set count equal to previous count so i have like <coughs> previous state was x so i can do x plus 1 okay i can copy this and can use it here in the decrease count here i just need to do the minus 1 something wrong <coughs> Okay, and reset count, I just need to initialize it with the zero. I need to set it with zero. In that case, you don't need to define those methods. I can just set it uh, with zero. This is really nice, right? Because now everything you are doing here, this I have written arrow functions and I'm directly able to call this method set count. And here I am accessing the previous state and previous state plus one, previous state minus one. Here the, we have only number, which in which is in the state, so we can do the plus minus. And this is the reset set count. We'll just reset the state to zero. And you can also print it somewhere if you want. You can just set the count here. So count is also now being used. Okay. So this is initial use state hook, which can help us to initialize the state either as a number, boolean, string, object. Here we are using number and we are just increasing and decreasing that count using these arrow functions. You can define these functions out, outside also which we were doing earlier or you can do everything here itself. So that is the advantage of functional component that what you are doing set count. Okay, let's do it here only. This is responsible for updating the state. We are not writing this dot set state and all. Set count will update the state. Okay, thanks everyone.